In this video, I'm going to tell you the five biggest footwear mistakes you can make when you're hiking, backpacking, camping, and ex expeditioning. In this video, I'm going to explain these five biggest mistakes because they can ruin your trip, they can make you miserable, they can severely injure you. That's the tip at the end of the video, the most important and most insidious danger to your feet by using footwear in the improper way. So let's get right into it. The first is when you're backpacking, it's super hot, it's a beautiful summer, you come, it's time to stop and take your half hour break for lunch, if you take a half hour break for lunch, and you sit there with your boots on, you're eating, and what happens? Your feet continue to sweat. These are my Keen waterproof boots. I super, super love them. I've been able to trick all around the world with them. However, uh, they're waterproof, which means they get steamy inside. So the first mistake is not drying your feet out, like drying your feet out, taking your feet out of your boots, and taking your socks off when you're stopping for lunch to dry your feet out. That's the biggest mistake because what happens is as you hike along and go, you go through the day, you need to give your feet just a little bit of rest, a break to let them dry out, to air out, and that will make a huge difference in getting rid of blisters, preventing, or not getting rid of, but preventing blisters, hot spots, rub marks, and all sorts of things. Also, if you're doing some 80 mile crazy backpack, the last thing you want to have 60 miles into the wilderness is something wrong with your feet. That would be bad. So making sure to let your feet dry off when you stop for lunch, just unlace the boots, take them off, let your foot seize do the resting is a huge difference. The second item is somewhat related to that is using dirty socks. Ugh. See, one of the biggest problems is, is as you're hiking, with waterproof boots it's not that big a deal, but with breathable boots or sandals or footwear, where you're using socks is if you let your footwear and your socks get completely loaded with silt and dust from the trail, over time that silt and dust starts to rub on your feet and it can cause you a lot of pain. That is a big deal because even though I'm wearing these right socks, these double line socks and then smart wool socks over that, links below, that dirt in your socks can actually begin rubbing on your feet and even though you've got the double triple line socks and all this business, that dirt in your socks rubs against your feet and that starts causing foot fungal problems. Ugh, you don't want that. And also rub marks, hot spots, and eventually blisters. Those things will absolutely ruin your backpacking trip because if you don't keep your socks somewhat clean, it's really tough. One of the great ways to take care of that is when you stop by a creek and you say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make some water, get your, get your Aquamira out, your pump, your Sawyer, whatever you might be using. Take your, take your dirtiest socks, get them in the creek, and just give them a quick rinse and rub, squeeze them. You'll be amazed how much disgusting black water pours out of it. Now, of course, you need to dry your socks. I've got a video on how to do that, links below. That is a critical thing. Also, I'm gonna put a link below to my book, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, kind of wrapped around the feet in the winter, and also my book, Adventure Expedition One, where I talk about the importance of footwear and all of these points plus more in this video. The third mistake people make is not breaking in your boots. I have seen this in outdoor stores, REI, Sportsman's Warehouse, everywhere, people, Come in, they ask the shoe clerk, the technician, oh, hey, I need these boots for backpacking. I want something that's real tough that can handle this. I might be going on an expedition, trekking to the Venezuelan jungle or going on a safari in Africa, who knows? And these people get all excited and then the clerk invariably asks, so when are you going on this expedition, hike, camping, backpacking trip? And the answer often so is tomorrow. What's the big deal? Oh gosh all right that is a huge mistake because it takes time for leather boots to break in to shape to your feet to actually become what your foot is and then you won't have as many hot spots and problems i have literally watched these reality shows where they 
drop people in the middle of you know who knows where on an expedition and these poor people men women americans australians venezuelans whatever they end up with crippling injuries to their feet because they literally purchased their boots the day before to go on this major trip please don't make that mistake make sure that you break your boots in and how do you do that by Putting your boots on with the exact same socks you wear with whatever backpack weight you might have and literally just walk the neighborhood because walking on concrete is actually pretty tough on you and it's a great simulation. It's not as good as walking on rocks and stumbling around but boy let me tell you the difference in breaking in your boots and having comfort versus not is everything. That brings me into the fourth point of this video about not <laughs> injuring your feet is taking care of hot spots and blisters the moment they happen not oh i'll wait until lunchtime i'll wait until i've hiked for a while and maybe this will get better believe me after thousands and thousands of miles of hiking cross-country skiing polar exploration mountaineering and all this the times that i didn't stop take the 10 minutes to take care of a hot spot to use the band-aids I'll link below, the Tough Skin, Tough, whatever they are, Band-Aid brand, they are the best. By taking care of hot spots before they grow into blisters, you can dramatically change your experience in what you're doing. Now, the best part is number five, it's just to come, so hang on, don't click away yet. But in my book, Adventure Expedition 1, I actually spend a lot of time talking about managing hot spots and how to take care of them. Me personally, I know I always get issues on my heel. It doesn't matter what boots I wear, how much I spend on them, what sock systems I use. It just happens to me. It's just the way it is. And it's just because of the width of my foot versus where my heel is. My heel just tends to rub. I put little heel cups in here to help prevent the rubbing, but it still happens. So hot spots means when you're walking and you start feeling a literal like match or a candle or some sort of real rub spot on your foot please stop if you're with a bunch of people just all agree before you take off hey i need to take care of hot spots and blisters the moment they happen hot spots become blisters and that way you can take your 80 100 mile 200 mile john muir hike and enjoy yourself rather than suffering and slogging through it in absolute misery the fifth point this is the one you've been waiting for and this is subtle is tying and lacing your boots correctly now that doesn't mean this neat pattern of how you lace your boots but rather when you put your boots on i'm going to just slip my boots on and just give you a demonstration i've got a much more extensive video on this link below about how to prevent tendonitis with your footwear but the basic point is when you're sitting in your tent it's so often easy to point your toes out and lace your boots up if you do that you are at risk of severely injuring your achilles tendon you do not want to do that because yeah you blow your achilles tendon oh huge mistake so i speak from experience when i was in greenland doing my expedition across the tundra from the ice cap to Sisamute through the Arctic Circle Trail by myself. I was sitting in my tent, I was lacing my boots pretty tight, and as I walked, I hurt my Achilles tendon. Huge, huge mistake. How do you solve this problem? Easy. When you stand up, and you always wanna stand up, and you're going to lace your boots, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see them, always point your toe backwards as far as you can and that allows you to adjust for the flexibility in your feet if you point your toe up as high as you can then you can lace your boots and tighten them as much as you want because now you have the full range in motion based on your laces now here's a caveat and i talk about that in my tendonitis video and in my book and uh antarctic tears Ooh, adventure expedition one is if you're going uphill and you know you're going to be going uphill for miles and miles and miles make sure that you crank your toe back as far as you can and lace those boots down so you don't have slip but not too hard 
when you crest out at the the pass the summit wherever you are and you know you're going to be walking downward for a long ways that's when i actually put my foot fairly level to my leg and then i tie my laces pretty tight especially around the ankle because as i'm walking downhill i don't get what's called toe bang where my toes slide and hit the front of my boot that's a great way to get injured so if you're sitting in your tent and you know you're just going over undulating landscape crank your toe back as far as you can to tighten those laces that way you've got a plenty of range of motion so you don't hurt your achilles and then if you're going up hills a long way just take a moment loosen up the boot laces a little bit so you have plenty of flexibility without too much slide but then when you're going downhill huge huge difference lace those suckers up so it grabs your ankle that way you don't bang your toes into the end of your boot and have a miserable time so those are the five tips to prevent misery in your footwear when you're backpacking hiking climbing adventuring and expeditioning my name is aaron linsdow i'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer please check out links below to my books Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides. And also check out my show World Beyond and Antarctic Tears, the documentary of my expedition to the South Pole. There are links below to all the products that I've talked about here in this video. And full disclosure, I am not sponsored by Right Socks. I am not sponsored by Smart Wool. I am not sponsored by Keen or anyone else in this video. I've received all of these by me handing over my credit card. I did not receive them for free to promote any of these products in the video. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your outdoor footwear adventures.